I mean, I've always agreed with Trump's policies, always. And I lost friends over it. Um, but, and I've never really actively supported anybody because it's not my job to actively support people. Right. I watch, you know, right. I like to watch. Um, <laughs> but I'm a voyeur. Yeah. <laughs> but I became an active Trump supporter when they raided Mar-a-Lago last summer, the summer of 2022. That, that, that's, that can't stand. No, that can't. And that I was something. agree with Trump on a lot. But even if I disagreed with Trump on a lot, I'd still be a Trump supporter because you cannot allow that. You cannot allow the... You know, the regime, the president of the United States to use the Justice Department to knock the front runner out of the race. You can't do that. No, you can't do that. So it's bigger than Trump. It's bigger than Biden. It's a question of, you know, do you want to live in a free country with a functioning justice system? You know, that's exactly. And right. so I'm voting for Trump. And if they convict him, I will send him the max donations and I will lead protests. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Because too. and by the way, if I thought that he had committed some real crime, I wouldn't feel that way. But he didn't. He and Biden are both found with classified documents at home, along with every other former high-level federal official in history. But only Trump is indicted? Like, tell me how that works. Oh, shut up. Okay. And and Biden is the one who did it illegally because he was never president when he did it. Do you think Dick Cheney brought home any, like, classified Iraq war documents and showed them to his wife in 2003? Yes is the answer.